The Zika virus is on the rise and the threat to pregnant women is very real, but it can be prevented if you know how to protect you and your baby. Most of the transmissions are thought to come from mosquito bites, although there is now some evidence that there may be sexual transmission of the Zika virus as well. Um, in terms of infection with, um, from a mosquito bite, um, it's felt that after a woman gets, or a man, a person gets bitten, um, if they may or may not have symptoms. Uh, most patients actually don't have symptoms from the Zika virus, but those that do uh, may have fever, conjunctivitis, or an infection of the eye, rash, um, muscle joint aches, um, so that type of a clinical picture. And then typically, uh, it's thought that the virus hangs around in the blood for about a week and then goes away. The problem in pregnancy seems to be that if a woman is pregnant, um, the virus crosses the placenta, and nobody knows yet exactly why it causes this particular effect, which is thought to be microcephaly. And again, right now, it's mostly an association. Currently, for anyone who's pregnant or anticipating getting pregnant in the near future, um, we really do recommend that they do not travel to any of the territories or countries that are on the list um, provided by the Centers for Disease Control with an active Zika virus outbreak. Um, and if they absolutely must travel for some reason, then we do really recommend that they take um, significant precautions, meaning using insect repellent spray um, with DEET, which is okay to use in pregnancy, um, and also uh, wear clothing that covers most of their body, staying in air-conditioned uh, spaces. And then we're also counseling them um, that if their partner is traveling or has traveled, then they must take certain precautions as well in terms of either abstinence from uh, from intercourse or using condoms. We don't know for sure if there's one particular trimester in pregnancy that's more dangerous for the Zika infection than another. Um, we The evidence seems to be pointing in the direction that the earlier in pregnancy the infection, the more severe it is likely to be if the fetus gets it. Although we don't know the extent um, of abnormalities that can be associated with the Zika virus, so far it seems to be primarily um, affecting the fetal brain in terms of the brain size and potentially other brain abnormalities, but it has not been linked to other types of congenital abnormalities, and it hasn't been linked to other chromosomal abnormalities, or to chromosomal abnormalities, which a lot of patients are asking, can Zika virus be associated with Down syndrome, which there's definitely no association um, with that. I do think it will get under control. Um, I think there are a lot of studies going on right now in terms of learning more about how this is transmitted in general, working on vaccines for, for this type of an infection, and we're also learning a lot more about the effects of this infection for pregnancy because this is such a new uh, development. It, it's kind of like a day-by-day -day or a week-by-week changing process.